time for a full tech spec review so you can find out exactly how these boots are going to make you play like Lionel Messi. Exactly the same, you will be signed by Barcelona by the end of this video. Fire! What's up guys, James here from Boot Wizard Boot Reviews and today we are doing a full tech spec breakdown of the Adidas Nemesis 19.1 in this messy colorway variation. Now it is important to note that unlike the previous messy variations of the Nemesis, this boot is no different than the regular 19.1. They do not have a different sole plate, they do not have a different stud pattern. This boot and the regular 19.1 are exactly the same. This is just a messy specific colorway. So for the looks, I must say I prefer the 19 plus, but the 19.1 is still a good looking boot. I do think I prefer the launch colorway in that red and orange stripe. I'm not sure that I'm a huge fan of this messy variation. If you do want to see a close-up of what these boots look like, there is a full unboxing of both these boots and also the 19 Plus on the channel right now. So you can go and check those out. I'll put the links above. And do remember to subscribe so that you can get all of that content along with all the other videos on this 19.1. So the tape is still tension tape. It has still been put together in the same way. It has three layers of overlapping tape, which are all different lengths and different tensions. So as they move from the top down to the bottom of the boot, the tension increases so you get more support in the areas that you need it. And then in the top area, it's nice and flexible. So these are super easy to get on. On the 19.1, the tape is mostly covered by this silicone polyurethane top layer, which is there for the sake of touch on the ball. It is quite matte. It's also there to provide a structure to the tape. And it also means that the boots will be a bit more durable because the tape doesn't come into direct contact with the ball or any dirt very regularly. Out of the box, these boots do feel stiff. They're not particularly malleable, they're not particularly great, and they do take time to break in. No problems with breaking them in and once you get there, but it definitely takes longer to break in a pair of top end boots than I would like it to. And finally, the touch on the ball. This is a much more barefoot, thin, responsive upper than we have ever had on a Nemesis before. And it makes the touch on the ball that much nicer. It is super responsive to what you want. And I really do feel like I get a good contact with the ball and it makes it feel fantastic. I'm a big fan of the way they've made the upper feel in comparison to previous models, especially the Plus models. The way they've done this is because it is just the tape on the top with that protective coating, and then inside is just a very thin mesh layer. There are no additional layers to it. So overall, I think the new upper feeling definitely gets a thumbs up. So let's talk value for money. These are 220 euro. For that 220 euro, you get an almost identical boot to the 19 plus, but with a low cut design and laces, which give you better lockdown than the 19 plus could possibly give you. Everything else is pretty much the same. The 19 plus is 280 euros. So logically, why would you not buy this instead of the 19 plus? So my normal advice is that if you're going to buy a boot that is 200 euros or over especially, you should definitely get an old colorway on sale and save yourself the money. Obviously that is not possible for these at the moment because it comes in two colorways, this and the launch red colorway. Neither one has been out for more than a week right now, so they are not on sale. So if you are desperate to get yourself a pair from the new Nemesis line, my advice would be to buy the 19.1, purely because the 19 Plus and the 19.1 have pretty much all the same tech and all the same new innovations, 
but this is significantly cheaper. So if you can't wait and you must have them right now, this is a much better value for money prospect than the 19.1, even if it's not the best value for money on the market that you're gonna be able to get. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about the weight. So, if you've seen my previous video on the 19 Plus for the full tech spec review, you will know that this is quite a heavy boot and is significantly heavier than the previous generation. So, let's see how the 19.1 fares. 19.1 is significantly lighter. The 19.1 is 213 grams, which is a decent weight for a boot. It's not overly heavy. Okay, I'm not saying it's incredibly light, but the difference between the 19.1 at 213 grams and the 19 plus here at 237 grams is actually fairly significant. I think it makes these a much better purchase option unless you are dying for the laceless. Okay, traction, sole plate and stud pattern. Absolutely identical to that of the 19 plus in its construction. It's a split sole design, which means that the actual in a board which gives you the stiffness is actually on the inside so torsion system now so the torsion system is super super stiff through the midfoot and heel area and it gives you fantastic spring back in the toe box area so the stud pattern is all elliptical and conical studs these are quite small and they pierce the ground very easily so when they do pierce the ground you can get in you can turn very easily and you can push off very quickly with the aid of that torsion system this really does live up to the idea of quick nimble changes of direction with the sole plate and stud pattern and that ties in to the touch and feel on the ball. They've actually done a great job of tying everything together and making it the correct type of boot for how it's marketed. Other things to bear in mind is that this is an FG stud pattern. Adidas have pretty much done away with FG AG labeling on their boots. This is FG only. The Nemesis line in particular does not have as much of an extended lip from that split sole over onto the boot in order to provide it with protection, but it does have an internal support, which is a little bit thicker around here than you might think. You can actually see it in the light. It's a darker area here. You can only see it because these are white boots. So that will be beneficial. It will add to the durability, but do bear in mind that these are FG boots. The stud pattern is very much an FG stud pattern. The length of the studs is designed for FG. These are very much not AG boots. Please hang up and try again. So on feet, these work out really well. As soon as you get them on and you get the laces tied, you can feel the lockdown. The lockdown in these is far superior to what you're gonna find from the 19 plus, even though the 19 plus has that torsion bar to provide additional lockdown. I think these look great on feet, even if I maybe prefer that launch red colorway. And I also find these very comfortable. They are a really nice combination of a thin barefoot feel and also a good amount of padding and comfort in the heel. Size wise, I would advise going true to size. I have these in my usual UK 8 EU 42 and they fit me just perfectly. They will fit you if you have a wide foot as long as it is not ridiculously wide and overall stick true to size is my advice. My main takeaway from this is that I much prefer the fit of this to the 19 plus. I also much prefer the fit to the 18.1, which I found to have too much material and also be a little bit foot squeezing. This has taken a lot of that out and given you a much thinner, more responsive upper, which I think is infinitely better than it was on the previous generation. This, and especially in the lace model, gets a big thumbs up from me. I would probably say that at the moment, this is my favorite Adidas boot 
right now overtaking the X line. I'm not sure it's going to knock the Nike Phantom Vision or the Phantom Venom or even the Puma Future 2.1 off the top of my list, but I'm certainly going to give these a lot more playtime than I already have and I might kick another review of these out in a couple of months just to see how they're getting on. I think these have got a lot of potential and I, I can recommend them. I think these are good boots. But that is everything from Boot Wizard Boot Reviews today on the boots that will make you play like Messi. Do remember to smash that like button if you did enjoy the video. Comment down below and let me know what you think of the 19.1 and the messy color variation and do subscribe to the channel because this is also proven to make you hit free kicks like messy does Fire! that's all from boot wizard today have a good one and we'll see you soon Fire! adidas may have just saved the nemesis from extinction extinction Extinction. A goose.